Hi guys, welcome back on the channel. Today I wanted to post a video um, now that I have uh, here a couple of miniatures from different eras and different makes um, to talk about the development of armor in a way that we know what we use in different eras and also to see the sizes and see um, that most miniatures, especially the foot, blend with each other. It's not a big issue. So we start with uh, 13th century. This is a Baron's War miniature from War Games Foundry. Uh, this miniature is, I think, uh, we will go closer, early Hundred Years War from Essex, late Hundred Years War from uh, a Perry, uh, late Hundred Years War Perry mounted and uh, Foundry mounted for Baron's War, uh, early Baron's War. This or uh, could be you can use it for a bit later, but uh, around the 13th century. So if you see, you can see the sizes, uh, especially for the foot, it's not a big issue. I mean, they blend very well uh, with each other. I don't see any problems on your table, especially uh, when everything is seen by uh, from above. Now here with the mounted, uh, the only issue could be that, uh, and the only issue we get, you know, gamers, experienced gamers and uh, painters have is usually the size of the horses. This is usually where um, miniatures are different. So if you see here, the Perry horse is quite bigger than the War Games Foundry horse. Uh, obviously, there is a difference in size, not the mini as such. So this is, I think, the only, um, let us say, um, miniatures that you may have issues. Although on the table, they won't look that bad. Some horses were bigger than others, obviously, but there is a distinctive difference in size. But in general, um, if you put them together, um, it doesn't really look bad, especially from further away. So let's see and realize the differences between the miniatures and uh, how armor developed in two hundred. This is approximately two hundred years of development. Let's say mid fifteenth um, uh, century, uh, Agincourt and Vernoy, This early thirteenth uh, century, first Baron Wars and second twelve fifteen. So you see the armor developed. I mean, if you see these two guys here, one beside the other, I mean. This guy obviously would be, have been annihilated by our foot knight of the Agincourt or later periods of the Hundred Years' War. The armor, the development. Now, obviously, and the weapon. Obviously, the development of, of, of armor went hand by hand with the development of weapon. Um, which went first, I don't know. I can imagine the weapons are easier, stronger weapons are easier to create and then armor followed. But... Again, you see a difference between, in, in, in the span of 200 years, the difference between um, every armor. Uh, so if we zoom a bit and see, you see here the um, Foundry Mini, it's, uh, he's basically have a shield and he's, uh, uh, he's a knight, he's basically his chainmail uh, and uh, nothing else, the shield and nothing else. If you go to the Essex miniature, now this miniature, I don't know if you can see, is a little bit more advanced. I think this could be early, early parts of the Hundred Years' War. You see here, let me bring him close to you. You see here some plate is developing in the hands, the gauntlets, and um, um, the the um, the legs, but again, and the she and the and the and the uh, excuse me and the helmets and uh, the breastplate is not there. A shield is required. Um, it's it really needs development, but it's the next step. I mean, if you've seen, I mean, if you read books and if you've seen movies, I was told that uh, Outlook King was one of the movies that was very historically accurate with 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 the with the armor and weapons. You see a king. Of England, uh, Edward III, Edward um, and uh, his son and his retainers having a little bit of plate and um, around their hands and the, uh, the shoulders, and then plate develop obviously, and we have this uh, basically armored knight here um, from the later part of the Hundred Years' War. So, so it's quite interesting to see the development. The same here with the knights. You know, the knights became full 
harness full of um, uh, of plate everywhere and you see the knights uh, fighting during the baron's war the first or second doesn't matter he's very lightly armored with chainmail that was basically the you know the the, the the elite of the era were wearing chainmail so this is a short video i want to show you i want to show you how the armor developed uh, i want to show you also that mini size really don't worry about it most of the miniatures are 25 28 mm there's very minor differences obviously we know about the knights we know about the horses that uh, have different sizes but this is something you can um, mitigate by ordering horses from from some companies and then ordering the knights you like but in general you see how um, armor developed you see how um, from the mid 13th century to the mid uh, let's say 15th century or well, in the span of 200 years uh, there's like a totally different um, warrior out there who would probably obviously annihilate the, the the older parts now it would be here good in between here to have a claim or castings that will really depict the the era of the early and mid part of the hundred years war um but even essex it works well i think uh, it's it, it has partial plate armor and uh, it doesn't have a breastplate to the usually still chain mail uh the helmets are the old helmets until you know they started producing different types of helmets so this is a short video i want to show you about the sizes of the miniatures and about um the armor and weapon development see the difference in weapons you know that the knights were using swords and then eventually the knights started using double-handed weapons huge axes pickaxes the the the, the arm race the arms race was uh, out of this amazing during the the medieval era so I don't think we should worry about uh, foot sizes. I think uh, mix and matching from different manufacturers works. I don't think there is a big issue with size differences. Mounted, obviously, there is an issue with the horses, as we all know. But in general, I think uh, you can mix and match your miniatures. This will not be a problem. Anyway, guys, this is a very short video to show you this uh, three different miniatures from different manufacturers to see them side by side um thank you so much for watching baron wars project is ongoing hopefully soon we will have battle reports and workshops and um i know that you've been asking for this but um, um we need some time so uh thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video have a great weekend and bye bye